Hey guys, what's up? This is Sahil from Chronostech. Now, in my last video, I guided you through routing the Moto G older and newer both the generations through CF auto route process. But the problem with the whole thing is sometimes it breaks the route or just leaves you with an unstable route, which might cause a problem with apps like Busybox and some other apps like that, which probably require super user access. Now, this video is a sure shot way to gain a stable route on the Moto G. For the requirements part, you'll need the recovery and the latest super issue file version 2.45, which you can download from XDA. I'll leave all the links in the description below for you to download all the stuff from. Now, I've already downloaded both the things. The next thing is copy the super SU file to your phone's SD card or the internal storage. After that, you need to power off the phone and boot it into bootloader mode. To go into the bootloader mode, press the power and the volume down button together and hold them for 2 seconds. After that, leave them both together and you'll see that you've entered the fast boot or the bootloader interface. Now, the phone is connected in fast boot. The next thing you want to do is connect the USB so we can start with the installation process. Now, go to the directory where the recovery image is located, hold shift and then right click and you'll see an option, open command window here. Now click on that option, a command window will appear, then in the window, you just have to type fastboot flash recovery and the name of the recovery, which in my case is open recovery, that is the TWRP recovery that I have downloaded. If you want, you can even rename it to just recovery so that you can just write fastboot flash recovery recovery.img. Make sure that it's an IMG file because that is the one you can flash in bootloader mode. Now there's a quick tip for you guys. You can just write fastboot boot flash recovery and write the starting letter of the recovery for example your recovery's name is open recovery so you can just write fast boot flash recovery and just write o and then press the tab button and the whole name will appear and you can just press enter and the process will start now as you can see on the phone screen the installation process has started now press volume down to go to the recovery menu and then press volume up to select it as you can see, we have entered the recovery. Now, the next thing is go to the install menu and locate the super SU file. I'll just scroll down and see where my super SU file is. Then you have to swipe this thing to flash it. The super SU should be flashed now and your phone is rooted. But as I said in the earlier video too, make sure that you install the SE Linux mode changer app and set it to permissive so that you can really enjoy the route and install apps like Viper Audio, Busybox, Titan Backup and all that stuff. This method works for both the Moto G 2013 and the 2014 editions. If my video helped you, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Share the love and be updated. This is Chronostick signing out. Thank you.